Oh, hey there, Cancers. How are you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, please like, share, and subscribe. Join my weird little tarot family. I would love to have you. Um, if you guys want to book a personal reading or if you want to see me unbox this beautiful Muse tarot. Ooh, Wheel of Fortune on the bottom for you guys. Um, that's in the description box also on how to do both of those things. Um, I'm using this deck to do good things coming to us this month and for whatever reason I could not do water signs when I did all the other signs. I just couldn't. I don't know why. Couldn't do it. Now is the time to do water signs. It's the night of the full moon eclipse in Scorpio. It just started raining here in Atlanta. It's the time to do water signs. I'm starting with Cancer. I am a Cancer with a Scorpio moon so... Best energy for the water signs. There we go. Ten of Cups. That's why. That's the good things coming to you, Cancer. Ten of Cups. Finally. Bottom of everything. With the Queen of fucking Pentacles. <laughs> good stuff coming to you, Cancers. A lot of you are getting married straight up. Or you're finding, finally finding complete happiness at home. And there's the Wheel of Fortune upright after that. Holy shit. This could be with somebody from the past. Yeah, King of Pentacles after that. You got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Cancer, some of you are getting married. Some of you are getting married. That's a good thing coming to you. Or you're getting a commitment of something. Something is coming back around again to make you feel completely whole emotionally. Ten of Cups is the most emotionally satisfied card in the entire deck. This is like a, a stroke of good luck for once. And especially in the love department. The King and the Queen of Pentacles are the ones that actually get married. All right, that's husband and wife. That's the energy showing up for you right out of the bat. All right, Cancers? There's your first message. That's a good one because I know a lot of my Cancers have not had a good turn with that lately. All right, there's the world. Wow. Look, I was doing readings for um some friends and family like earlier today. And I had the world card pop up in almost every single reading. And it's because of this eclipse. If you're not ending things right now during this eclipse, you are going to have a very rough time up until the next eclipse season in October where you get a second chance to do it all again, all right? You got the world card here and it's upright. That means you are ending a cycle. You are doing something that is positive. Like that's good news, all right? That something is coming to an end. What is this about? It's upright, which means you're ending it in the right way, which means you'll be receiving good karma when you start over again with something as the fool. This has to deal with the Six of Pentacles. The star in reverse. The high priestess in the reverse. The lovers. The Six of Swords in the reverse. Hermit in the reverse. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. This is a painful thing, all right? This was a choice that you made you shouldn't have made and you knew you shouldn't have made it all right with the lovers and the high priestess in the reverse on the bottom you knew that there was a red flag you knew that there was something going on with whatever this was this was a bad decision it was a bad decision and you made it anyways okay it was a major decision you've had a really hard time letting go of that six of swords in the reverse you need to sail away from that mentally you've not been able to hermit in reverse and um the star in reverse those are two cards about healing and about fixing something and about putting yourself back together and getting your hopes and your dreams and being a whole person. You've not been able to do that with this situation. Three of Pentacles in the reverse. You can't withdraw your energy from this. Nine of Swords in reverse because you get anxiety about it. And then you get the uh, King of Swords after that. You're going to see some clarity, all right? Something is going to be revealed to you. The King of Swords is very clear about his strategy and what he's going to do. You're putting an end to this, all right? You're realizing that you have more to give, all right? And you're giving it to the wrong situation. There's an end to endlessly feeding some situation that cannot be fixed. That's what it shows here. The world, the six of pentacles, and then the star in the reverse. You're realizing that you, the six of pentacles is about having enough and being able to share that you go take the seven of pentacles and you invest in something and with the eight you try to master whatever that is you know until you get to the nine and the ten um you're realizing that trying to fix this it's taking away from your ability to invest in other things that's coming to an end because you're realizing that you 
that you were feeling some kind of way about this cancer like you felt like it's something should have happened here or something should have gone another way or that there was some way that you could have fixed whatever this was but you're starting to see that that's you you know you're lying to yourself about that you're being very honest with yourself that you shouldn't have trusted your intuition awakening upright judgment that's that clarity with the king of swords why is that here the wheel of fortune again i'm telling you you're getting good karma cancers look cancers get shit on so much but look cancers are like the most loyal and you know kind sign all right unless you're being a bad cancer and being a manipulative motherly nightmare all right this is a cancer that's getting good judgment called in the wheel of fortune with that shit look and <laughs> I don't even need to explain that. Your reading so far has been great. And I knew that's why I needed to wait until this eclipse. This eclipse is the... If you would have done this reading before this, nothing would have looked good. Because a lot of people in water placements, heavy water placements, has felt like their life is going to shit for the past few months. I don't even think a lot of you would believe me if I told you right now. Here's some more messages for cancer. Strength. Four swords in the reverse. Eight of wands in the reverse. Temperance. There's something getting taken away from you, Cancer. It's like, this is against your control. This is something that you have, you can't do anything about, whatever this shit is. Um, it's something that you've been waiting around for way too long. All right? I feel like a lot of you have been overthinking whatever this is. It's draining your energy. This is coming to an end. You being stuck, fixated on whatever this stuff, and, it, and it's... A sword card but it's emotional she's sitting in all the water all right whatever you've been putting out like you've been putting it out is what i see all right you've been letting out those emotions temperance card you've been releasing them that's been heard all right by your guides it's they're taking it away from you all right eight of wands in the reverse that's not communication all right it is but in this case the way i read it Eight of Wands is about rapid change, unexpected change. In the reverse, it's usually not a comfortable one or one that you don't see coming. This is not going to be a comfortable transition, but it gets you unstuck from a place that you can't stop fixating on. And it brings balance, all right, with the Temperance card. The Sun in the reverse, you will not see this coming, but it will lead to something big, the King of Wands. It'll light a fire under you. And then you have the Page of Swords there with the King of Cups. And the king of pentacles you got three kings after that it almost puts you into emperor mode whatever this stuff is it's going to break you down to build you up take it as that don't fixate on it anymore let it go one more message for cancer ten of wands why and look this ten of wands she's holding cups there's also Taurus energy on this. It's, they're like a bunch of bulls holding cups. It's like carrying an emotional burden and very, very fixed energy with that. There's the Eight of Wands. The Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Three of Wands in the reverse. You're not letting people trigger you anymore. All right, this is what this is. Before, when something, all right, when, when communication or whatever would come at you, when unexpected, you know, back and forth would come, you would immediately hit this point of like reaching too much or having, you know, you either shut down with the 10 of wands, you give up or you, you know, drop the ball and you lose everything. And it's because it's like when you feel rejection with the Knight of Cups in the reverse and the three of wands in the reverse, like no one's moving in your direction. You're feeling like everyone's pulling away. Like that's you not wanting to do that anymore. You're gonna be rejecting all that five of wands because you realize it's too much drama, all right? It's a good reading. All right, Cancers. That's what I got for y'all. Um, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.